What is up, everybody? It's Corey for Cruising Around the World. Hope you're doing well uh, today. I am in an airport, y'all. This is the first time I've been in an airport in over a year, uh, or just under a year. So I'm really excited. Uh, my wife and I are going on a little trip for our 10-year anniversary, uh, but I just wanted to make a quick video to let y'all know what it's like in an airport right now. So we are in the Birmingham, Alabama airport. Uh, that's home base for us, and it is empty. Like we're here, it's 7 a.m., there is not a soul in here. Like I'd say there's maybe less than 100 people uh, for like multiple gates. It's crazy. And guys, it is 7 a.m. Check this out. This place is basically empty. There's nothing. Like the stores aren't open. Guys, the vending machines, check this out. The vending machines aren't even on, right? Like they're not even plugged in. This place is, uh, is crazy. So if you're ever curious, like, should we take a flight? Is it safe? I'll uh, post some more about an air, uh, being on the actual airplane here in a few minutes. Uh, but so far, so good. There's nothing here. If anything, it's a little bit sad. everybody so now we've landed in uh, Dallas Love Field uh, for our connecting flight en route to Phoenix and as you can see behind me it is still pretty much a ghost town here uh, which is a much larger airport than the Birmingham Airport so it's a bit surprising there's just not that many people here a lot more flights coming in and out but still not a lot of people so as far as our flight went uh, it was actually pretty light. Um, they announced on the intercom that there were about 50 people on a plane that holds about 140, 150 people. So it was not a really uh, packed flight. Overall, it felt very comfortable. They don't have the same things that you're used to on a flight. So what you're getting is you're getting some water, you're getting some snacks, but you're not getting a lot of other things that you're used to. So that said, uh overall pretty comfortable felt pretty safe there was one person on the flight that just for whatever reason uh, didn't want to wear her mask she was in front of us but we were masked up and it was comfortable all the way around All right, everybody, I have made it to Phoenix. And this is the eeriest of the airports I've been to so far. It's also the biggest airport, so it feels super empty. Check this out, guys. This is the main baggage plane at Phoenix Sky Harbor, and there's nobody and no bags. It is the craziest thing. So just for reference, this is a Wednesday afternoon at 2 p.m. So uh, definitely, definitely crazy. Now, listen. The flight itself, uh, it was great. You know, everybody wore their masks. It was the same exact thing as the first leg uh, where you just don't get a lot of amenities right now. So I would not spend a bunch of money on upgrading seats and things like that. So guys, just a few closing thoughts uh, to end this video. My first thought is uh, I would bring your own water bottle on the plane. Uh, they've got filling stations all throughout these airports and it keeps you from having to drink out of those little bitty cups. If you're anything like me and you get really thirsty, uh, you're probably gonna want your own water bottle. Uh, I actually used Hydro Flask. Uh, I like this because it keeps the water really cold and I drop my water bottle a lot so it doesn't, doesn't break when I drop it like a plastic one does. My second thought is to make sure that you pick up a couple of uh, snacks before you hop on the plane because your snack options are really limited uh, on the planes right now. My third tip that I would give you is to make sure that you get a comfortable mask. I wouldn't just go with a standard surgical mask unless you just really want one uh, because they're not very comfortable. So get your cloth mask or they're comfortable, they won't hurt your ears. You gotta remember, you're gonna be wearing this for a few hours where you might only be used to wearing a mask for a few minutes at a time. Uh, so I think that's really crucial. And I think the final thing is just to make sure to, to bring an extra helping of patience uh, when you get on the, the airplanes right now. Everything's a little bit slower because they're spreading everything out. They're taking a lot more precautions. But there you have it, guys. I think all in all, don't let the pandemic uh, keep you from getting out. 
if you are a traveler and if you're in good health and you're not in a high risk category, uh, get out there, start traveling a little bit more in 2021, but most of all guys, be safe. So everybody, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I just needed to give you an addendum. As you can see, I'm back at the house now. Um, and it, the reason I feel like I need to give you an addendum is because as, as I mentioned in the video, we flew out on a Wednesday and everything was amazing. We flew back home to Birmingham on a Sunday and things could not have been more different. In a nutshell, everything was really crowded. The airport was really crowded, the airplanes were full, and it could not have been more different. And it didn't feel nearly as safe as it did on Wednesday. So why do I bring that up? Well, I bring that up uh, just to give you one quick tip. I don't think that you don't have to travel or you should avoid it. What I do think is that you should uh, fly in and out during the week. The reason for that is because right now, business travel is very limited. So nobody's traveling during the week. But on the weekends, you get all the leisure travelers, people like us, uh, who are flying back home. So what I would recommend is if you fly out on a Wednesday or a Thursday, instead of coming back on Sunday, take the extra day off if you can and fly back on Monday. You're much more likely to get an empty flight just like we just had. Uh, so there it is, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hope it just gave you a glimpse into what it's like. Um, if you do like the video, please click like and subscribe uh, and we have much more to come. Thanks again.